You'd think after nearly 60 years working the same job, it'd be tough to bring a positive attitude to work every day. But it's not hard for 80-year-old Jewel Golfin. 41 NBC's Elaine Rackley introduces us to the remarkable man who's been a faithful and eager Robbins Air Force Base employee for almost six decades. Uh -huh. Jewel Golfin has outlasted most of the 120 labor workers who started out working at Robbins Air Force Base in 1955. He is an Army and Air Force veteran and served in the Vietnam War. We're Korean veterans, so if you was a veteran, you could just by walk in. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of red tape to go through. And uh, you would meet up in the morning time, they'd assign you to different jobs. Robbins Air Force Base was built in the 1940s. In those days, employees had to park their cars on Front Street and walk down a dirt road to get to the base. We didn't have no insurance, so everybody walked in. And uh, really, they didn't tighten up on insurance about 1966, 67. That's when people started getting insurance and you could drive on the base. Golfin has worked with the 78th Civil Engineering Group for the last 35 years as a roofer. We built all the cardboard boxes, whatever it took to ship stuff out, we would build. Golfin recalls working with supplies being flown around the world in C-130, C-141, and C-17 planes. Back in them days, we had a machine which you'd build a box and you put, you'd build a frame for it then you can foam it. His longevity at the Air Force Base has not gone unnoticed. Mr. Golfin was recently honored at the 66th uh, annual Air Force uh, birthday celebration here at Robbins Air Force Base mm -hmm. for his 59 years of service with the Air Force. I'm still working. I'm not finna retire. Uh, I feel like I can do at least a few more years. I, know. I might stay five more. I don't know. In Warner Robbins, Elaine Rackley, 41 NBC News. Gosh, just to put it in perspective, right. been here two and a half years, and I can't say that I've brought right. a positive attitude like that every day. The crazy thing is, he doesn't even look like he's 81 no. years old. No, oh my gosh, he <laughs> looks so young, and Golfin is going to be 81 next month. Right, he's not only teaching and training his younger co-workers to be more efficient, but he tells us he's trying to instill in them his work ethic of pleasing the customer.